Hey everybody, Corn Fed Lady here, and today, today is all about seeds for 2023 gardens. I'll be collecting some heirloom seeds from our existing plants in the garden, and the rest of the seeds I'll be ordering online, and I'll be sharing some tips on just how to do that. Okay, so here's our main garden, and let's go in here and collect some seeds for next year. And you can see I've got these little tags all over the place. Those are marking things um, that need to be picked soon. One of my favorite things from this year was the chocolate cherry tomatoes. And I've looked up to make sure they are an heirloom variety. With heirloom plants, you can save the seeds and they'll be true to the parents, which means that the seeds I take from these cherry tomatoes will grow plants that produce cherry tomatoes that are exactly the same. Hybrids, on the other hand, don't necessarily stay true to seed. So if you take the seed from a hybrid plant, such as our Costa Rican peppers, and plant the seeds, it'll grow a plant that will produce peppers that are not necessarily the same as the one you took the seeds from. So when you're saving seeds, make sure that it's from an heirloom variety and not a hybrid. If you're not sure, you can look it up online. I also don't plan on saving seeds from things that didn't do so well, like these cantaloupe. Although they taste really yummy, the two that we've had, we only got two out of about 20 because the rest exploded on the end. Earlier this year in the spring, I planted out this green stalk planter with some lettuce seeds. And I actually planted it with seeds that I saved from last year. And I'm gonna do the same thing again this year and save some more lettuce seeds for next year. Now this variety up top is the iceberg lettuce. And then I have another one down here that's called ruby red. And these are my two favorite varieties. So I'm gonna save some seeds off these today and I'm gonna show you how. And when you're collecting lettuce seeds, you wanna go for the driest ones. So this branch right here that still has some flowers on it, it's pretty green. I'm not gonna use that one. But this other one back behind it that's kind of falling over and it's really brown and dried out, that's the one I'm gonna collect seeds from. And you don't need a lot for lettuce seeds. I can get a whole garden's worth out of one plant's worth of seeds. And the easiest way that I've found to get these seeds out is to pop off one of those seed heads and then pinch it with your finger on the end that didn't have the opening. And you can kind of pull that shell um, opening off and then you'll find the seeds inside. Let me show that to you again. So you want to pinch off one of those flower head pods and then I give it a little um, pinch on the end there where it was connected to the plant just to help loosen the seeds in that pod. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera there, but there's a bunch of little seeds in there. And they have feathers connected to them on the other end. Um, but we don't want them to blow away in the wind. We want them on our plate. So I'm going to give this here a little squeeze. And you'll see all those seeds pop right out. And that's all there is to it. Now I still need to collect some more of these. And then I'm going to get some ruby red seeds. And I like to get a few pinches worth for each year for the garden. I decided to also save seeds from my Roma tomatoes because they're really good for saucing and some of these chocolate cherry tomatoes because they're really sweet. So all you have to do with these is cut them open and you'll see the seeds inside. It's not real rocket science here. All you gotta do is dig them out. There is a trick that makes it a little bit easier to get some of these tomato seeds. And that is to slice it off thin. And then you can kind of get to them a little better. Now I have seen people take these slices of tomato and just plant them right into the garden like that. And the seeds can grow out of it, which is fine too, except for that I'm saving these for next year. So I'm going to be digging these seeds out, and it's okay if they're in a little bit of goo. Um, we're going to dry these out in the sun.
Okay, so there's some seeds. They're kind of gooey. Again, it's okay. We're going to put this on a paper towel and let it dry out in the sun. All right, now let's do the same thing with the chocolate cherries. So there's our chocolate cherry seeds and our Roma seeds. We already dried out our watermelon seeds after we ate some last night. We simply spread them out onto these paper towels and let them dry in the sun. They're kind of stuck to it because, well, they come out pretty slimy. But that should be plenty watermelon seeds for next year. And this variety is from the, the Crimson Sweet. Oops. And we're going to do the same thing here with the tomato seeds. So we've got our watermelon seeds. These are actually about ready to go. I could probably put them in a bag for next year. And I keep them in small uh, Ziploc bags, the little mini ones. Okay, so we've got our Romas and our chocolate cherries, and we're going to go ahead and put those on there. Should not have let them run together like that. That's okay. I'll do a different save later. But you can tell the ones that are which are which because they're red and green. You just kind of spread them out on that paper towel. And let them dry in the sun. I'm actually going to put this under it because it's a little damp. There. All right. And the rest of the seeds we're going to buy online. So let's Google seeds. Now you're going to get a lot of different hits here and what you want to look for are the reputable seed companies so the first one that comes up here on mine is gurney's and baker creek and so on um if you scroll down a little bit further there's one that's called burpee.com that's the one that i like to use uh, you just want to click on their website and then start shopping around for what it is that you're looking for so on this website they have it broken down by categories you've got vegetables uh, and all different kinds of vegetables, the flowers, perennials. Perennials are the plants that you're going to put in the ground once, and they're going to just grow forever. Those are my favorites. Um, some of the perennials that we have here are our berry bushes and our fruit tree orchard. And they've got herbs and fruit and even some garden supplies and whatnot here. So make sure you're picking one of those reputable seed companies. If you click on shopping after searching for seeds, you're going to get even more of a hodgepodge of opportunities or um, choices here. Now, you want to be careful when you're searching the, the shopping tab under Google because you are going to get some reputable seed companies in here. But then you're also going to get a lot of the um, eBay kind of people just selling them out of their backyards, which is fine, too. Um, but you want to be careful of those. I have gotten some eBay um, seeds before that I was not happy with. And those usually show up when you're searching something specific, say uh, rainbow carrot seeds. So we're looking at some different rainbow carrot seeds. And you'll see some of those reputable seed companies, um, Eden Brothers, whatnot. There's some Lowe's, uh, some local companies, Johnny Seeds. But then you'll also start to see some of these Etsy listings come up. Um, you want to be careful with those Etsy listings because a lot of times those will be, those will be from people who are just kind of pulling things out of the backyard and selling them online, which is fine. I'm all for people trying to help themselves. Um, the problem is, though, some of these people collect their seeds not realizing that they're hybrids and that they won't come out exactly the same after you plant them. Or maybe they do realize it and just don't care. Uh, so you want to be careful with these Etsy listings. Even though the pictures are always beautiful and vibrant, it's not necessarily what you're going to end up with. So I'm going to go to Burpee Seeds.
make sure you go to their official website. If you're going to a seed company, make sure you go to their official website. Don't order through eBay or Amazon or anything like that. Okay, so I need rainbow carrots. Let's see if they have them here. And it looks like they do have some. About six or seven dollars for some rainbow carrot seeds. So I'll be adding that to the cart. The other thing that you want to pay attention to when you're buying seeds is how many seeds. Um, for example, here it says it's 1,500 seeds. So if you don't need that many, make sure that you consider that. Okay, well, I'm going to finish shopping for seeds. Hope that's it for seed collecting today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Have a good one.